Welcome back, friends. I'm sure that you've seen the news stories by now. Orcas are attacking and sinking boats off the Iberian Peninsula. We are receiving Channel 1 sink. We need assistance. Immediately, immediately. Immediately. We are sinking. We are sinking. I hadn't originally planned on doing a video about these attacks just because I've been so busy getting ready to host a charity event to help build a new marine wildlife rescue center. But the orca attacks are increasing in frequency and severity, and a lot of my followers have been asking me to weigh in and give my professional opinion as a marine biologist who works with marine mammals. So let's start from the beginning. According to some reports, the attacks apparently began in 2020. Since then, three boats have been sunk and more than 250 damaged by a group of orcas, with the orcas appearing to deliberately target the vessel's rudders. Now this ecotype of orca is pretty interesting and unique. I've talked a little bit about this before, but every orca ecotype specializes in a very specific prey. For example, here in the Pacific Northwest, we have the resident bigs and offshore ecotypes. Resident orcas almost exclusively eat salmon. Bigs prey on marine mammals. And the offshore orcas only eat sharks and typically just the livers of those sharks. That's how specialized they can be. The Iberian orca ecotype is not known to eat marine mammals. They mainly feed on Atlantic bluefin tuna, which is a fish that is highly prized by humans. This creates a complex interaction between humans and orcas, one that is often dangerous to the orcas who are known to steal tuna from fishing lines, which can lead to injuries from the hooks themselves or from ship strikes to those orcas. And that is one of the theories floating around the internet, that one of these orcas, known as White Gladys, was injured by a boat, is out for revenge, and is teaching the other Gladys to attack the boats. The reason they think this individual is the one teaching the other orcas to attack the boats is because she has been implicated in and responsible for a higher percentage of these attacks than the other orcas. First of all, Gladys is not her name. Her name is White or Blanca. Gladys is actually just the Spanish name for gladiator or gladiator-like. And all the orca that have these interactions with the vessels have been deemed Gladys. That's 10 miles away. Are you not entertained? Then like and subscribe. <laughs> not all Iberian orca are Gladys, but all Gladys are Iberian orcas, if that makes sense. There are currently 15 orcas identified as Gladys, and one thing I think is interesting and probably telling is that while Gladys Blanca is an adult, the vast majority of the Gladys are actually juveniles. I think that's a really key point for explaining why these attacks are taking place, and we'll get to that in a moment. But first, let's talk about revenge. Revenge is a hard concept to attribute to animals and something we should steer away from, in my opinion. I've seen a lot of behaviorists and zoologists agree that animals, especially primates, can engage in reciprocity, which is you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Even negative reciprocity. You hit me and I'll hit you back. But these scientists hesitate to call it revenge because revenge has a component of moral justification and attributing that to animals assumes that the animals have the same moral systems that we do. I think fear is a better word for the motive than revenge if this is the case. Something could have scared or injured one of them, Gladys Blanca for instance, and so now she is teaching the others to eliminate these threats when they are near, sort of like a preemptive defense. I think this is a possibility, but the one thing that doesn't make sense to me is that animals have an intrinsic survival instinct that deters them from taking these sorts of risks. They typically want to eat, sleep, and steer away from danger as much as possible. Animals don't usually engage in risky extracurricular activities. They don't put their lives in danger unless the reward outweighs the risk. One sort of exception to this rule, though, is teenagers. 
In humans, teenagers are notorious risk takers, from extreme sports to criminal behavior in some cases. Studies have found this to be true across the animal kingdom. Young animals take more risks than adults. In fact, risky behavior helps adolescents develop into safer and more confident adults. And the reason kids take more risks than adults is because taking risks is fun. And that, in my opinion, is the most likely explanation for why the Gladys are attacking these boats because it's fun. I think they are playing. Like I said, the vast majority of orcas observed doing this activity are juveniles. The adults are often seen sitting off at a distance and not participating. So it could be just rambunctious play initiated by the young animals who are passing it on and being bad influences to their siblings. You can see here, just based on their dorsal fins, I believe these both to be um, juvenile individuals. One is, of course, smaller than the other, which probably lends itself to what we were talking about, where the juveniles are actually teaching the even younger individuals um, to carry on this behavior. But that doesn't make it any less dangerous for the boaters or the orcas. If I was on a boat in Spain, I would avoid these orcas at all costs. In my opinion, it is likely these attacks will continue and end in the deaths of people and animals. Many animals in this population have actually been experiencing some unusually high mortality rates, and while it hasn't been necessarily tied to boat strikes and boating activity, uh, I think that we will find that it is when those necropsies come in. Ship strikes are a very real concern, and this is a critically endangered population of orca. I also think humans around the world have gotten way too comfortable getting close to wild animals. A good rule of thumb is if a wild animal changes their behavior because of your presence, then you are far too close. If you want more information about the Gladys orca, I found this website very helpful. orcaiberica.org. There are maps of the interactions, a catalog of all 15 Gladys orca. I'll put that link down in the descriptions as well as a link to my upcoming charity event where we're going to build a marine wildlife rescue center for the Oregon Coast Aquarium. Well, what do you think about all of this? What do you think about all of this? I hope you'll check it out. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and let me know what you think down in the comments. Are you not entertained? <laughs> you can't laugh at me. Are you not entertained? If you are, smash that like and subscribe button. <laughs> I hate this so much. Which I was I know, I just didn't want like, everybody to be like, hey, what happened to your finger? Right. It's broken. With the orcas appearing to be deliberately targeting vessels with rudders. I guess all vessels probably have rudders, don't they? Or from ship strike. Ship strike. I'm gonna do this uh, next part as Sean Connery. Are you not entertained? I wonder if you can see that giant fly that just flew in front of the screen. <laughs>